Welcome back. This morning, 23ABC's Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk is showing us the magic of refraction by using science. Let's take a look. Welcome back to Science Sundays. This week, we're making a little magic happen by bending light. Here's our friend Allison Bogart, a teacher of the year, explaining her experiment that takes advantage of the index of refraction. Yeah, I am Allison Bogart. I am a teacher at Wonderful College Prep Academy in Delano. I teach science and also STEM electives. And today we are going to explore some refraction of light. So I'm gonna move my camera around. So here I have this beaker and you can see um, it's just it just has air in it right now. And then I'm going to fill it with some corn oil because uh, we'll fry later. We'll make some. So I'm going to just fill it with some oil. And now, if we take some test tubes, you know, as a science teacher, I can't do anything without some test tubes. If we take some test tubes and we place them into this beaker, we can see through the oil, we can absolutely see the test tube. If we wanted to take advantage of the index of refraction and how much each material bends light, we could take another test tube again. It's just full of air and place it right next to it. But now, watch. What do you notice? What happened here? We can absolutely still see that this first test tube filled with the air, we can absolutely still see that. But if we notice this second test tube, we put some oil inside of it, and the corn oil has the same index of refraction as the glass that this test tube is made of. And so if we take advantage of index of refraction and how some materials may have the same index of refraction, the light will not bend as it travels through, right? Bending is refraction. The light will not refract, the light will not bend. And so it looks as if that test tube has disappeared. We have this full lesson available for free on our website, turnit23.com forward slash science Sundays, where students can also watch Allison use refraction to apparently bend a pencil in water. We'll see you next week.